First time I did nationals in in powerlifting, I got uh, top five, and then the second year I won. So top nine now. Next year, on paper, I am the ninth, like I am top ten strongest woman in Sweden, no matter weight class. I was definitely the lightest competitor. Yes, competitor. Okay, now I'm angry. I start felt it. Me bara 24 år gammal i spårar. Only 24 years old. <laughs> you. <laughs> Why do I walk like that? Like everyone else is like walking out like so alpha, and I'm like. I don't know. I don't know how I walk. I, I was like, should I watch in the camera? Should I not? Uh, okay, good. Good job, Ellen. Looking, looking fancy. One, one shoulder up and one down. I think I pulled him up and then I just didn't think about it anymore. That looks so weird. Oh yeah, whatever. Mass moves mass, but I also move mass. I have tried my best. Like I've been eating a lot. I have gained a lot of weight. I'm probably like 67. I think I'm 67. Last time I put myself on a scale, I was 67. So I, I'm, I'm proud of myself, but like, yeah, mass moves mass. It's a thing, but I think more mental. If you think you can do it, maybe you can do it. These women are machines. Not in good, yeah. It's a lot in a short time. Look what a freaking unit she is. Like both of them are, but like... This is so heavy. <laughs> I am not... I need to practice on this. Uh, this is this was difficult it was 165 kilo for the first 15 meter and 205 kilo for the other 15 meters so it is big weights <laughs> i'm so like i miss clapping i'm clapping for everything this is before i broke this is before i ripped off my skin and i look so when i was standing behind there they, I forgot my magnesium, but I was like, they, they're like, there's magnesium there you can get. And then they started pouring, but it was a new bottle of magnesium. So first it just, like it kind of peed in my hand, you know? And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. And then they shook it and I got a little bit of white as well. And then afterwards, I'm like, yeah, the magnesium didn't work. Like it ripped off my hand and stuff. They, somebody told me like, I don't use that, uh, that brand. And I'm like, oh, well, next. And then I learned my lesson that I will bring my own equipment. Oof, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I can't. This is today. This is me today. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, why the freak is she running? Like she's like a horse. She's just zooming. I'm like, shit. I'm a turtle, dude. I'm so slow and I'm struggling. <laughs> what a freaking unit! Like, did you see? She's just zooming away. But I'm just happy I got somewhere. Okay. Like, I didn't expect that I would be able to even able to walk with 200. But next time I get my own magnesium. And I still have time, but I'm like, brah. No, no sweat, just no magnesium. I was so angry here. Like, I'm actually so angry. This is the most angry I was at the competition. Even more angry here than Conan's wheel later. And I don't even want to talk about that now. But also, before the competition, I was like... I don't think I'm even gonna be able to move 200. And I did move 200, but I was so angry at myself. Okay, so here's the, the replacement of the first one. Oh, I was in the last? Let's go! If I just walk like half a meter further, I would have gotten one more point. Okay, so the next competition is gonna be Press Medley Apollo, five objects. Uh, it's all 50 millimeter uh, this big. And it's okay to put it on your belt. And then there's a, something I didn't understand. And it's 90 seconds you have to do it. Okay, so here I did the doctor on myself because my hand just ripped open and it was blood coming out. So I was like, yeah, I'm a doctor now. And then I taped some stuff and and I said, is this okay? And they're like, yes, it won't help you. And I'm like... Also, I was really nervous yesterday. So I watched a YouTube video and he said, if you're nervous, take do, do like breathing. And I'm like... <sighs> I did that. Implementing. Look how cute with the pink shorts. I was ready, and I'm like, yes, and then, <laughs> and they went. <laughs> he said that I technically practiced being underweight like that. 
I mean, we did some push presses like two weeks ago. I guess that counts. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Here we go, the lifting faces. I look pretty cool, actually. I think. Oh. Like, that's pretty good. I have, like, my technique is pretty okay. Oh, shit. Well, that could have done better. I, I think I can do this. Uh, I just need to practice a bit. Oh. I'm asking for time. How much time I have. And I'm like, okay, I got some time. Better breathe. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Maybe a little bit of help. <sighs> so the thing is, I was like, if I put my belt further down, it's gonna be easier to get it on the belt, and if I just get it on the belt, I can get it here. So I'm like, go further down, belt! I will remember that next time. And I'm like, frick it, okay, I'm just gonna do it like this. <laughs> the 68 kilo. Ah, <sighs> like they said, like in the car on my way home, the guy said, if you want to use more of your press strength, like from the bench press, what you want to do is uh, don't get into the bar like that, because that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to, to press it here, right? So he said, lean back and press it instead and put your head when you're when you're done. So it's fun. I'm learned so much technique in every single lift. It's my first competition ever and I learned so much. I said thank you to them for cheering on me. Oh, okay, look at this now. Kazo, she's so freaking strong. Like, dude! She's just... She don't need no belt. And look at that form. She's getting in under the bar so good. After the second one, I placed top six. My time was very close, but I beat it. I beat it, so I got one more point. That's good. I needed that. I needed that big time. This was the one that I was uh, looking forward to the most. So in the beginning, it's at 124 kilo for two reps. And then the next jump is 140 kilo for two reps. And the next one is 161 kilo for two reps. I'm very comfortable lifting 161 kilo. But then step four, big jump from 161 to 189 kilo. That the most I've done in conventional deadlift before is 180 so it's 9 kilo pr for me if i manage to get that far so i only expected to do uh, the two reps in 161 i know i was gonna do for sure and then i was like yeah probably no more but oh yeah also my hand is ripped i'm not using the wraps uh i don't know if you see that i just had them on hanging because if if i was struggling then i was like i can use it and i'm not gonna waste time going off and taking it on. So I am not using the wraps, I'm just having them ready on my arms. And this this hand is so messed up, it's just bleeding through the band-aid now. So yeah. This is 161, and this is comfortable weights for me, supposed to be. And I'm like, yes. That's it. And then, but I was having some grip issues, so I took off my bloody band-aid. And I'm like, I gotta get this one. And also take off the wraps, because they just made me annoyed. 189 kilograms. And I'm like, this is bigger than I've ever done. <laughs> 9 kilo PR! So, so, I forgot that I can hit shit! And I'm like, bro! <laughs> Not bad! 9 kilo PR and I almost got a second rep as well! Sheesh, maybe I am stronger conventional! Dude, Cassandra, deadlift queen, slay. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's like, she could probably deadlift before she could walk, and I think that might be true. She's so good, she's so strong, she has so good technique. And she's just 20 years old. So now, I am 7th place. She was like, I've only done Conan's wheel one time before, because uh, this uh, she drove me to the train station MVP. I am very grateful. And she was like, yeah, I've tried it one time before. <laughs> and this is the best Conan's wheel in this competition. She is amazing. Watch this. I did try this some days before, and then it went really good. And then here, um, yeah, you will see. Is it good, you sir? They said to me, you should take the height of the bar before the competition starts. But I'm like, to who? Where? And then they were like, I don't know. And then when I walked up there and they're like, yeah, you gotta, you can't change the holes now. You, you can't change the height. And I'm like, I haven't told anyone the height. And then I asked another girl the competition. She's like, no, I didn't tell anyone the height. We don't have anyone to tell the heights. And I'm like, we couldn't say the heights. You said we should do it, but nobody has because there's nobody to say the height to. And then so another girl was like, yeah, just tell, tell the height when you go up there. And I'm like, I don't know the height. Because I did try it beforehand. They told us to do so. And then I tried seven and... And then I was like, I think I want it higher, but does that mean seven plus or minus one? Eight or six, because I want it to be higher from the ground, right? Because I don't want it to accidentally take the ground. So I walked up there and I'm like, uh, should it be a seven uh, plus or minus one? How many holes? And they're like, you haven't told anyone. And I'm like, no, nobody told anyone. So yeah, I should have waited before I started walking, but it felt so weird. But yeah, it touched the ground. Uh, so I think that the height was good. I think that I got mind spooks because I had uh, arm sleeves that I've never had before. I could walk easily when I did it on training. I was confused about the holes and about this entire situation of should I tell them the holes, how many holes and who? And I should have done it already and I can't change, but I don't have anything. And the people don't know. So that was a bit unclear. Some misunderstanding got into my head, I guess. Because I got one meter, I don't know. But yeah, I should have stood up, waited for the swing to go away. So we're gonna stand and hold them. They are 80 kilo in one hand and 60 kilo in another. But look how stylish I am. I have this like crop top vibe. I was not allowed to have my tape on anymore uh, in my hand. Uh, so I had my open wound, but I, I put the weight here. So it didn't make a difference anyway. Look, I'm shaking already. She's just standing still. And I'm so bored. I don't like standing in this holding. And I was also laughing at what he was saying, bro. He's like, it's like you stand there and think about everything you hate in life. And, and I'm like... I don't know, I'm just... The darkest space within yourself where you stand and fight. Thinking about everything you hate in life that you want to do win against. See my knuckle there, bruh. Not comfortable at all. And then I know that she started way earlier than me, but I'm like, bruh. But I feel like I could have done it longer. But so what I told the other girls after this, I'm like, bruh, I think it's smarter to start immediately. Because then you have like more mental battle because you want to stand longer than the other girl. And then I, it's like when, when, they let, when she let go, it's like something snapped in me. I know that she started earlier, but it's like I already won, but I did not. I know that. So it's like you have to double think. So it's better to just start immediately, hold a bit longer beforehand, and you know you're already up, like you already up, one up on them. Okay, this time, this is the meatball thing that almost made me faint. Faint, faint. It's this uh, bag medley, uh, and this is my weakness, because I've only done it like two other times, and none of them I think I did really good. It's very hard, very technical, and it's like when you have the bag, like, you put it up, you put it from the crown, and then you get it in here. But from here to here, you, you can't breathe because the, the, the meatball, the, the bag, is laying on your diaphragm. 
So you're trying to breathe, but you're just fainting and there's no air coming in. It's just... <sighs> I'm nervous though. I know that this this bag, when I didn't even get it up on training, made me almost faint. So I'm like, uh, scary. She, she did so good. And I'm like, bruh, I need to do it. I can do it. I know I said in training I could do it, so I can. And then boom, it's up. And I'm like, yay. And then boom, I almost fainted, you know. So here is the same thing from another angle. Yo, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't have these bags at home. Like I can't drop these on the floor here. Then I need to go outside and train. I'm like, I can't do it, I promised myself. And I'm like, yeah! And I'm like, woo! And then, boom. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> and then the boom grab. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny that I use, I'm fainting and I'm like, <laughs> booba, booba save life. So here I'm just trying to come back because I, I blacked out for like a millisecond. So I'm trying to come back. I'm like, what am I doing? And I'm like, <laughs> but it's so, so hard. I never even tried. I've gotten it up to my legs before. And I'm like, maybe I can get more sand closer to me. I don't want to stop. I don't want to give up. But I'm still feeling like lightheaded so i'm like trying to suck in air to my belly because i don't want to stop yet and then it's i can't mm. and i'm like okay this is my moment because <laughs> i'm like okay i couldn't make it so i used to i think it's because the adrenaline when i was gone for a second and came back to life i'm like uh i am gonna make a flip <laughs> you're gonna tell what the secret thing now so there's always one si usually there's a one secret uh, thing secret challenge so he, he says more than just being uh, not spending a lot of money in small land we also have a lot of stones and i am like oh no I've never lifted a rock in my entire life like this. Like I have zero experience. There's a he's like, yeah, we're gonna do natural rocks. So everybody, they've been doing the first rocks, nothing else. Only the first two rocks they've been able to move. They haven't even they haven't lifted. And I'm so happy I could lift it because I've never tried this before. No, the belt will be in the way for the rock, I think. And I'm like, because I was like, no way I can lift this. And then I'm like, bro, I moved really good. So now I get some confidence and I'm like, sheesh, maybe. I'm just like, I'm just gonna do as good as I can. And then I'm like, wow, it's high. One hundred fifteen kilo. <laughs> I was struggling so much. <laughs> The audience, look, listen. And it's, I'm like. He's... And I'm like, bro, another one. And then the time was up, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wait, I want to show you from this other perspective. Like, I can't hear how I'm screaming in, in the other video, but like, I was. Like I said before, like I heard a loud scream and I'm like, it's me screaming. <laughs> and I'm like, but it's, but I'm like, it's working though. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep screaming because it seems to work. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I got it this far, I'm gonna continue. 
and like this this here i thought there were no way and then this scream somehow gravity was like oh she's screaming now and then it boomed up and i got the corner up and i'm like wow it's possible <sighs> oh my god i'm so happy about that that's that's the peak of my competition that I, today that i i got the the stone so i was super happy to be there my goal was not to get last and then when i realized oh maybe i'm not gonna get last then my goal was to get top 10 and if i didn't mess up conan's wheel i could maybe have looked for even more but it was my first competition <laughs> yeah, plenty more. I was uh, uh, 0.5 points away from uh, getting eight. Eight place, not eaten. You know, like they don't, they're not cannibals. They're strong women. 20 years old. <laughs> I get goosebumps again. Dude, look. Oh, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> so well deserved. Dude, she's been competing so, so long. Cassandra, the greatest, Sveriges, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest, the